Greetings. I'm Michael Quinn Patton, author of Developmental Evaluation, with a short introduction. A separate video will give a longer explanation and overview of developmental evaluation. But for those of you who are dipping your toe in and trying to figure out what it is, this video presents a brief conversation about what it is. It's become more important because of the coronavirus, because of the worldwide pandemic, programs, initiatives, projects have all had to pivot, are having to adapt, be agile. And developmental evaluation is fundamentally a process for in accompanying innovation and adaptation from an evaluative thinking perspective. I've said that traditional evaluation is project oriented. We say that evaluation grew up in the projects. It has a project mentality. It's what we know how to do. Um, and so projects have clear, specific and measurable outcomes with a logic model. And you can tell whether or not a project is successful. Innovation happens uh, in taking on tough problems and wicked problems where you don't know the solutions. You don't even necessarily know the indicators in advance but you know that the way things are, are not acceptable. Um, when Mothers Against Drunk Driving began, it was because a, a single mother whose 16-year-old daughter was killed by a drunk driver went to his sentencing trial and he got a suspended sentence. And she said, that's not acceptable. She began to work uh, to change that. She didn't have a 0.08 alcohol level in mind. She just said the existing system cannot continue the way it is. And mothers joined together to begin changing things. That space is the unknown space. It's the space of innovation. It's a space of saying, we, don't, we may have a vision of things differently, but we don't have clear indicators or how to get there. But we're going to create them. It's going to emerge. We're going to build relationships. We're going to take on these problems. We're going to be um, uh, persistent and, and passionate about making a difference um, in the world uh, and learn as things emerge. Developmental evaluation is aimed at accompanying that that journey. Evaluators are actually part of the problem in many cases um, because what evaluators do is impose as a, the definition of a good project a logic model and clear specific and measurable outcomes. Developmental evaluation actually says it's quite appropriate to begin without goals and objectives if you're in new territory with wicked problems where you don't know the solutions and you're going to work together to attack systems learn as you're going. Developmental evaluation captures that learning in real time. It's not a three-year report. It's ongoing engagement and learning and adaptation and adjustment um, as conditions change and as, as you learn what's happening. ...version of developmental evaluation for a fuller explanation of about a half hour in length. See the complete developmental evaluation introduction. Thank you for listening.